Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Teal Garcia and on this channel we do all things photography. Um, so we've been on a little bit of an editing kick lately, which I don't hate because I really like kind of helping people learn how to edit and, you know, get the results they want out of their photos. Today we're going to be in Lightroom. There's definitely one tool that I want to show you how to use, but I figured um, the last one that I posted, a few people messaged me and told me that they wished I would have edited the whole photo in the video. So, and that was the skin smoothing video, which I will link below. A few people were, you know, they really wanted to see the whole video edit and not just the skin smoothing, even though that was the most important part of the video. So I figured I would start this video by just editing the photo so you can kind of see what I do. But this video specifically is we're going to touch on the radial filter in Lightroom and um, I'll just show you how I use it to kind of draw attention to the subjects in a photo. And don't get me wrong, like we're not talking about like crazy vignetting that <laughs> used to be done in like the late 90s on everything like heavy ovals on photographs. Um, there is a vignette option in Lightroom, but we're going to use the radial gradient for this rather than the vignette tool. Probably don't use the vignette tool. I, I don't use it. I don't really know what you would use it for. You have way more control if you do it this way. But anyways, okay, so let's start editing this photo. So the first thing I want to do is the horizon I'm definitely, so I'm going to edit this photo, the whole photo here, but I'm definitely going to kind of just like blow through it. So if you have any questions about anything I do, leave it in the comments. But um, because this video is just based on that one tool, I'm just going to kind of edit quickly and talk you through it as I go. Um, I do, first thing I want to do is straighten the horizon, obviously. Um, if you don't know, this little angle tool right here is the best. And it straightens everything right out. All right, and the next thing I would do would be to add a preset. And um, these, they say test right here because I am testing some presets that I made. So maybe stay tuned for that, I don't know. But I'm gonna use test two for this. All right, and I am also going to warm this photo up quite a bit and then pull the exposure down. All right, I like that. It is a little yellowy, so I am going to pull the magentas over. Just a hair. I'm also going to come over here to Luminous and I'm going to brighten up their skin just a little bit. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, so that's essentially the edit. Um, what I would do before I would do this radial filter right here. So the radial filter is right here and I would hit that. And what this does is it blocks off an area that you are not going to edit, if that makes sense. So we are going to make a circle and we want the circle to be kind of just around them because I want to darken and play with the area around them because I really want you to look at this photo and you just focused immediately on them. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is play with the exposure. I do want to darken it a little bit. Now don't get like, look, watch how this can get crazy. Like it can get really gross, but we don't want to do that. I just want to darken it a little bit. So, but there's a trick to this. So now I've darkened it a little bit. Eh, it's more than a little bit, but by doing that, I'm just taking the exposure down, but I'm also going to come down here to the blacks. And I'm going to lift the blacks just a hair, and I'm also going to lift the shadows just a hair. So it kind of just made it like a little silkier, I guess, than it was, if that makes sense. And I'm also, because um, their skin tone's kind of like nice and warm, but the water was a little green and kind of weird. So I am going to play with the magentas and kind of bump those up to add a little bit more color into the area around them, if that makes sense. There we go. Because I want them warm, but like the warmer the water looks, it looks like it's kind of mucky. And it was that day, but yeah. All right. And I think that's it. I think that's really all I would do for that. But let me show you 
the difference. Like if I go down here, so that's before we did all that adjustments. See what I mean? So they're nice and warm. The water kind of cooled down a little bit and we added some magenta. But yeah, and then there's the full before and after. Super easy, right? See, it's just kind of a cool, like a neat tool to just bring focus, if that makes sense. Like you don't want to do anything crazy. Like you don't, like I said, like I showed you like the crazy vignette. Like you just use it to bring in a little bit of focus. All right, that's, that's about it. That is how I would edit that photo. All right, that's all I have for today. This is another short editing video, but I really wanted to talk about that radial filter. I think it's a tool that not a lot of people use. Um, so, but just play with it. It's very cool, especially if you have a subject that you wanna bring attention to very delicately. You, like I said, you don't have to go crazy with it, um, but it's just, it's really neat. It's a good way to, I mean, you can always use your adjustment brush also, but something about that radio filter does a really good job in bringing in the focus on portraits. I use it all the time and I love it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please do so so you can hang out with me more often and I will see you next time. Bye. Do what you do, do what you do, do what you do, do what you do.